All right, well, thank you everybody for coming. Today we're going to be reacting to Nintendo's E3 press conference. We made a list of 10 things that we would like to see during the press conference, and if they show up, we're going to be crossing them off the list. Some of these things are kind of a stretch. Some, some are some hopeful predictions, and some are some things that are almost certain to be at E3 this year. So here is the official list of things that we want to see or plan on seeing this year. Number one, I have Pikmin 4. I love the Pikmin series. It's pretty much my favorite Nintendo series. Every single game is just fantastic, so I would love to see a new game for the Switch for Pikmin 4. Number two, it's the Virtual Console. The Virtual Console has not been announced for the Switch yet, which is very surprising, but I think they're just waiting for this E3 press conference to announce their first lineup of Virtual Console games. And which is going to be, this is like the most revolutionary system for Virtual Console because it's portable. So taking all of these old games that we've played a lot as kids and getting them to take them anywhere you want, it's it's amazing. Three, we're almost bound to see more info about Fire, Hem Fire Emblem Warriors because um, they, they teased that not too long ago, but the release date is getting closer, so I think we'll get an official trailer for that. Four, Animal Crossing for the Switch. We need Animal Crossing for the Switch because Animal Crossing is the best as a handheld game. And the Switch is a handheld console. So being able to take an HD Animal Crossing game wherever you go, yes, that just needs to happen. I hope we get it. It's going to happen eventually, but I hope we get it this year. I hope at least we get like an announcement this year so we can start building some hype up around that game. Five, this is almost, like I'm almost positive they're going to release this too because they've released Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. They've released Pokken Deluxe. So Super Smash Bros. Deluxe, that's almost for sure going to be a thing that's going to happen at this E3 press conference. There's rumors that they're going to add a few more characters. I heard that they registered some copyrights for some new Amiibos for Smash Bros. So maybe some new characters. Probably Splatoon Inkling. I wouldn't doubt to see that as a character. And as far as other characters go, I am not too sure. And then also it's rumored that they're going to add all of the Wii U stages and all of the 3DS stages into one just like big epic game. Um, I also saw that they teased some possible screenshots of um, solo break the targets for different characters, kind of like they had back in Melee. And um, what was the last thing? I really hope they kind of focus a little bit more on the, the solo player for Smash Bros. Like a really good adventure mode. That would be awesome because I love the adventure mode of Melee. And they didn't put that in the newest game. Um, next we have, we're going to get news about Mario Odyssey, 100%. We're going to get some new gameplay of that, and I'm, I'm more than excited. Um, seven, I don't think they're going to announce this, but I'm still really hopeful. Pokemon Stars, um, the official Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch. I'm really hoping we see that, because I, I would love to play a console Switch. I loved... Pokemon Coliseum was a great game, and they need to bring back some console Pokemon games now that the Switch is handheld. Like, the Switch being handheld is revolutionary for tons of games that we thought we would never see on Nintendo consoles. Eight, think it's about time that we get a Metroid game, <laughs> a new Metroid game, and I kind of hope they focus on multiplayer, honestly. It'd be cool if they took, like, the concept of Halo and transferred it over to Metroid and made an epic first-person shooter like multiplayer game using the Metroid franchise, but still also have an amazing single player mode to go along with that. The next thing I'd like to see is Mother 3. <laughs> I mean, this is almost like a meme at this point, but I just finished playing Earthbound and I really want to play the next game in the series, so an official release of that game would be muy fantastico. And then 10, I think we'll see maybe a new iPhone game, a Nintendo iPhone game. Hopefully it's better than Super Mario Run, but I like playing lots of games on my iPhone, especially when I'm not home, just whenever I want to play games casually. So a new a new iPhone game that like uses some different Nintendo IPs would be good. Maybe like just like a puzzle Nintendo iPhone game. That would be pretty cool. And then <clears throat> I mean there's some other things. It'd be kind of nice to see a new IP. I don't think that's going to happen, but a new Nintendo IP. Oh my gosh, my phone scared me. Here we go, Nintendo Spotlight. I'm liking these effects. The game is fun. My body is ready. The game is a battle. If it's not fun, why bother? If it's not a battle, where's the fun? 
It's a test that you pass or a quest that you fail. A race against time, fun and battle, always locked together. But the game is also something else. It's a journey, a passport to new worlds, maybe even an odyssey. A look, a feel, an exploration. All right, we're about to see some Mario Follow Odyssey stuff. And open your mind. Yes, the journey requires the right ticket. And that ticket is Nintendo Switch. But in the end, it's not just where you can take your game. This is so cool. It's where your game can take you. God, their effects team so has gotten go. so good. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes. I already have goosebumps. Wait. Story goes that when the world was young, everyone in Alres lived on the This world isn't tree. Mario Odyssey. Together with our divine Xenoblade, father, the architect. I think. Right? They called that paradise Elysium. Yeah, Xenoblade to you. I still need to play this. I need to play the first one. This looks awesome, though. You're a blade. As the driver of the Aegis. Can you take me to Elysium? These graphics I'm in. seem weird. Let's go to Elysium. Wasn't the first Xenoblade? Like, didn't the I'll first Xenoblade game myself. have better graphics than this? It's more cartoony almost. Okay, this isn't Xenoblade 2, I don't think. This is more of an RPG. This doesn't seem like the first Xenoblade game. Spin off? We'll show you what me and Pyra are made of. Take this! It is Xenoblade 2. Now that you have come this far, okay. there can be no turning back. I'm not sure how I like the character model art style. I mean, it's not terrible. And that sword can't be! I'm guessing your goal is Elysium. World row is cool. This blade he calls Pyra. Her flames hide something deeper. What's the matter? Are you the Aegis or aren't you? I won't use that power, and I won't let you use it either. If you know what you desire, you a little bit too much voice acting in this trailer. Words, the music is good strength. though. Everyone, let's go. Okay. All right, at least a holiday launch. That's always good. Sometimes you need a hero. A sword swinging, fire wielding, stone cold hero with an insatiable appetite. Kirby? A, what is this? Okay. Another 2D platformer. Man, I really want a 3D Kirby game. Like, these 2D games are honestly getting a little bit old. I mean, I haven't played much of them, but it seems like they could do something different. <laughs> Is it for the 3DS or the Switch? Probably Switch. Graphics look a little bit too clean for the 3DS. This music is good though. Kirby music is always good. Oh. 
So many apples. Two thousand eighteen. A little bit away. Yo, don't do that. <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm Shinya okay. Takahashi from Nintendo. I don't recognize this guy. <laughs> the journey with Nintendo Switch so far. When I found out that Nintendo Switch is being accepted by video game fans from all over the world as a home console that could be taken with you anywhere, I felt so That Mario relieved. Odyssey stuff looks so good. Take Switch outside, come together, and share the experience. This idea was how we hoped people would play with Nintendo Switch. But people are coming up to with play many that creative ways to play in all kinds of places. That snipper clips game. Many more ways I really want to play that. Expected. This summer, Nintendo and its third-party partners will release many multiplayer games that can be played anytime, anywhere, and with anyone. We hope there will be many heated competitions that will be ignited by Nintendo Switch. Okay, let's see some good now, we'll continue our multiplayer look games. New game worlds for Nintendo Switch. But before we do, there is one announcement we'd like to share from our very special friend. Please take a look. Which friend? <gasps> Guys, Pokemon Stars! Pokemon Company! You guessed it, it wouldn't happen! Just the other day, we announced that Pokemon Tournament Deluxe is coming to Nintendo oh, Switch. Pokemon Tournament, never mind. <laughs> this is the latest version of the premier Pokemon fighting game. Two people can dive right into battle using I get really excited for a second. controllers. So you can experience heated Pokemon battles with just one Nintendo Switch console. There are some fresh additions, including new Pokemon, and this deluxe version of the game will be on display at E3 for attendees to play. I have one more announcement. One more announcement. Game Freak has begun developing a core RPG Pokemon title on Nintendo Switch. Hey, that's what I want to hear. It's not released for more than a year, but we hope you'll look forward to it all the same. In the meantime, let's enjoy this year's E3. All right, it's been confirmed. No trailer, but it's been confirmed. We heard that the Pokemon series is being developed for Nintendo Switch. What kind of Pokemon game will we be able to play on Nintendo Switch? I'm looking forward to it myself. At this year's E3, we're mostly showing games that will be released in 2017. But please know that here at Nintendo, we're working on many forms of entertainment that can only be made possible on Nintendo Switch. We hope you look forward to them as well. Now let's continue on with the journey with Nintendo Switch. Is he in front of a green screen? He definitely is. Ah. Metroid? Is this Metroid? Something, something in space. Four. Metroid Prime 4? Is that what this is? No way. Oh, oh shit! It's been announced, bitches. Any trailer or anything? Or just now in development? That's it? Okay. What a fucking dick tease. There are two sides to every story. And, oh! Okay, another Yoshi game. I actually really like the Yoshi games, guys. I loved Wooly World, so... It's like a cardboard version of Yoshi. This is more three-dimensional. It's like 2.5D. Hey, that's cool. Things are in the foreground. This graphic style is nice. I'm liking this art style. It looks like that depth of field is beautiful. Oh, uh, it's co-op, of course. I love me some good co-op games. Oh, I'm really liking this art style. It's like they're in a world of crafts. This whole flipping gimmick is kind of neat. These coins are so shiny. Oh, teamwork! Okay, me and Squill are playing this for sure. Oh, dang. 
Dragon Train. Yoshi, what's the title? 2018. Oh, no title yet. Dang it. What is this? Fire Emblem? Is that what this is? We're under attack. I think so. Yeah, Fire She's Emblem. Okay. Which game is this? You two must keep going. No, I'm coming with you. Of Altea. We've come is this an official game? You. This isn't Warriors, that's for sure. Remember that you can rely on your friends. We're with you. Get it together, you two. If you they love showing off voice again. acting for these things, don't they? You fought your way this far. There's nothing you two can't do. Oh, it is Warriors? No matter the day. This is a weird trailer for it then. It if we're working together. All right, let's move out. Working together, we can finish this. Just some gameplay then. No, no gameplay. Okay. Very soon release date though. Hi there. I'm the Legend of Zelda series producer. All right, DLC info. You may have already heard about it during Bethesda's showcase that was held a few days ago. It was announced that select Zelda items will appear in the Nintendo Switch version of hey. Skyrim. I'm gonna play Skyrim really to death on the to Switch. Exploring Skyrim with the Master Sword in hand. Mm-hmm. Oh, when did this Master Sword get in my hand? Do you think Next this up, is green screen, guys? I don't think so. This is definitely real. Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Let us take you on a new Hyrule adventure. DLC. DLC. The new dungeon. Trial of the Sword. It's like the enemy gauntlet. I like these walls. What's DLC? Downloadable content. <laughs> this looks epic. Okay, I'm like super stoked about this, honestly. It looks like this would be a good thing to translate into a versus. Hero's Path mode is amazing. It tracks everywhere you walk. It's so awesome. Uh, the Tingle costume. <laughs> At the Korok mask, it helps you find Koroks. And get all those Korok seeds. Oh yeah. Master mode. And that makes enemies more difficult to fight. Okay. Improves their AI. This is sweet. Oh, I hate those guys. Those are so hard to kill. Whoa. That's some epic, some epic artwork right there. Okay, that's the first expansion pack. Ooh. We already knew about everything from that, though. They announced that like a month ago. Oh, yes, I love this dude. Forget his name. Isn't it like Koss? Is that it? Cost, that's it. Okay, sweet. That was right. I'm not sure what's happening right here. It's showing us the characters from the game. Which are all really epic characters, might I add. My dude, Cost.
the Champion's Ballad expansion pack. Okay. They didn't release any info about that. But I'm excited. Okay, this is for Nintendo Switch and Wii U. What did you think? I actually oh, have one more that's because Breath of the Wild is for Wii U. Duh, okay. The four champions that appeared in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will be available as Amiibo. The oh, champion, nice. Mipha. Amiifa? The Goron champion, Daruk. Daruk? The Rito champion, Rivali. Rivali. And the Gerudo champion, Urbosa. Urbosa. You'll be able to use these four Those Amiibos are nice Amiibos. in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. What do they do? Of course you'll be able to use these in the DLC packs that you just saw, so please look forward to them. I wonder if you can play as this those characters. This changes the game. Travel the world. Bring people together. Play anywhere with anyone. Is this real or CGI this time? Journey, I can't trust anything. Anywhere has to include a stop right here in LA during E3. This is Magic Week, where booths buzz and channels glow where the game worlds you've heard about suddenly spring into life. And this summer, a new kind of heated competition ignites right on Nintendo Switch. It kicks off later today with the Splatoon 2 World Inkling Invitational, which brings teams from the are Americas, cool. Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan to see whose colorful skills are the best. Tomorrow, the Pokken Invitational will be held. You might recognize some of our eight competitors who will be duking it out in heated battles. Later on Wednesday, we'll see eight players throw punches in the fun and competitive game ARMS, which launches later this week. Hell yeah, ARMS. Four of our players will be pros, and the other four will be E3 attendees who rise to the top by battling on the show floor. Nice. If you're going to E3, we hope you'll accept the challenge. And no matter where you are, be sure to catch up with Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 for all the details and news about Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS. But Have now, they announced any 3DS there are a few games more yet? <laughs> left to visit on our journey before we land in the booth. Let's go. All right, let's see what else we got. Still waiting for that Mario Odyssey stuff. Oh, we've already seen this. Can we see some good gameplay though? Ubisoft is proud to announce its new Rabbids game, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, and it will be developed exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. The Rabbids' crazy personalities and unpredictable <laughs> behavior will shine as they They're like minions. in a reimagined and twisted Mushroom Kingdom. They will surprise you in this tactical adventure filled with combat and exploration. Mario and his friends will join them in an epic quest to put the kingdom back in order. We can't wait for you to play the game on August 29th. August 29th. Sick. Yeah, I'm really excited for this game, honestly. I bet it's going to be a ton of fun. Yeah, rabbits came before minions. Let's remember this. What was that? I missed something. Uh. Oh, Rocket League. All right, all right. I see you. I see you, Nintendo. But is it in 4K? It needs to be in 4K. Just kidding. Oh, uh, Mario hat in the car. Sweet. I'm glad the Switch is finally being taken seriously by like tons of gaming companies. On behalf of everyone here at Cyanix, we're extremely excited to announce that Rocket League is indeed coming to Nintendo Switch. We know that both the Rocket League and Switch communities have wanted it, and now we're going to release it. Complete with cross-network support that lets you play against opponents on other platforms. The Switch version will have all the features and modes we've released thus far, plus exclusives like local wireless multiplayer, Mario and Luigi hats for customizing your car, local and new exclusive cards we'll talk about later this year. Look for Rocket League on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Nice. Local wireless play is always nice. Okay, what we got here? Uh, what is it? Monster Hunter? 
What is this? Oh, okay, guys, it's Bowser. That's it. Mario Odyssey. Yes. Okay, I was really confused for a second. Oh, these worlds are so beautiful. This is so weird for a Mario game. I'm digging this music. This is a very interesting graphic style. What? You can possess animals? <laughs> can you possess Goombas? Okay. What? This is awesome. He can turn into literally everything. That is sick. I love it. I love the dapper outfit Bowser has in this game. All these boss fights look cool. Oh, this is like a custom made song. He can turn into a car, he can literally turn into everything. What? <laughs> he can turn into the tall people. This is too much, guys. Hey, now it pulls it back into that dragon or that dinosaur at the beginning. Woo! I am super excited. Hey, that's like right before my birthday. If you guys want to buy me a birthday present, you know what to get me. It comes out five days before my birthday. Is that it? Please don't be over. No, that's it. Hmm. See what can we cross off of this? Fire Emblem Warriors, you can cross that off. Mario Odyssey, you can cross that off. Hey everybody and welcome to Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 2017. That was really so short. The the year, we've got a lot of great game content to show you and a lot of special guests swinging by as well. But to get things kicked off, we're going to take another look at Super Mario Odyssey. Just saw the video in the spotlight. It's going to be coming out on October 27th really soon. And uh, we're going to take a look at some gameplay. I'm Sam from the Treehouse, joined by my colleagues from the Treehouse, Rob, Rob, and Scott on the end. And we have some very special guests with us for this segment. We've got uh, the game's producer, Koizumi-san, and the game's director, Motokura. Uh, thank you both so much for joining us today. Hey. Hi. Really so looking forward to it. So I know that was uh, really short. Really excited to get in the gameplay, but before we jump in, there were a lot of really cool reveals in that video, and I think folks are going to be really interested. Right, so Fire Emblem Warriors and Mario Odyssey are the only trailers game. we got. But at the core, there's we got really, uh, an announcement for like a confirmation for Metroid and Pokemon Stars. And that was it. Ooh, keep yawning. I need a monster. I need an energy drink. I am. I need my uh, life first fuel. First, I'd like to take a quick look at the Odyssey, for which the game is named. Uh, it's the ship that Mario uses to travel the world, okay. and it's powered by these power moons, so you keep needing additional thresholds of them to get onto the next kingdom. And this looks good. Just to show off a little bit of the new moves, obviously there's the hat throw. You can make it stay in place, which is sometimes valuable. It can grab things for you. Uh, there's two kinds of coins, which we'll talk about it a, a little later on. Actually, okay. there's that little dialogue box. You saw Cappy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. Cappy is both the, I mean, the We're going to see a lot of information about this game, which is nice. Form, he's a white top hat. Uh, and so one other move that's pretty cool is this circular Ooh. throw. Knocks away everything. But let's get down into the city. And as you saw in the trailer, so there's the, the capture mechanic. What new donk city? It also lets you do fairly exotic things like... What turn into electricity new donk city? <laughs> What kind of name is that? So how did the um, we saw All right, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna go because I want to um, uh, upload that so direct response video. Um, more and more of these textures. But you guys can t continue watching this on Nintendo's really YouTube channel. Um, and then you guys can continue talking in the Twitch chat if you like. Um, but I have quite a few things to do today, so I'm gonna head out. I'm a little bit underwhelmed by the direct. It wasn't terrible. It was. 
It was alright. Honestly. Like, there was some... There are some yes. things that were announced um, that I'm pretty excited one for. Thing that we haven't mentioned yet that we probably should I wish they would have announced like one more thing. Like I feel like it was like yes. one more and, uh, thing. That's a really like, one more announcement would have like really wrapped it up. But options. they didn't. But so it's okay. So Anyways, thank you all so much for joining me on this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna this talking is distracting me. But thank you all so much for joining me for this live stream. It was pretty fun. Um, tonight. It'll probably be a bit later, around like 9 or 10 p.m. my time. It'll be a more late night stream. I'm going to play some more Star Road tonight. Um, so if you want to come join with some Star Road shenanigans, I will be playing that tonight. Thank you all for joining. I love you all, and happy gaming.